Hi, and welcome to another Getting Started with Unity tutorial on www.unitycookie.com. My name is Gabriel Williams, and in this tutorial we'll be taking a brief look at the user interface within Unity. So, uh, just a quick but very informative look at the interface here. Um, first, we'll probably need to take a look at this, uh, the layout button right up top here. In case your interface, what you're seeing here, looks different than mine, make sure on the layout button, uh, let's actually put this on the 2x3 option here, just so everything looks the same. There we go. Okay, so uh, using Unity, we, um, we'll just take a brief look at just um, uh, our general look at all of this and then narrow in on a few uh, key portions, the bits that we'll be using most really. So first of course there's just the regular menu bar up top. We have anything such as file, uh, new, save, or quit, open, etc. Uh, edit for any of your uh, cut, copy, paste, uh, preferences, things like that. Um, assets for doing some more advanced things like importing and exporting packages. Uh, the game object menu, you'll definitely use quite a bit. This is where we uh, create anything from cameras to particle systems to lights to the cubes and spheres and other basic Unity objects. Um, definitely uh, we'll be using that quite a bit. In the component menu, we can use this to drop things onto those uh, game objects or give them these properties, things like uh, physics colliders and rigid bodies and joints, uh, audio properties, uh, particles, anything like that is done through the component menu. The terrain, just like it sounds, creates terrain and edits it. Uh, the window menu here will let us uh, open uh, any uh, windows we don't already have open, such as Maybe I need the animation window open. It's uh, done directly through that or any others. And the help is just as it sounds. Uh, gives you a couple links to some helpful, uh, some helpful links here. So good to know. Good to have that there. Um, so the uh, probably next most important bit is just the scene editor here, and this is where you'll spend most of your time uh, editing, uh, changing, and building your world directly in this. And there's a couple things we can do here to quickly make this look something uh, a little easier to view. And that uh, number one would be turning off this little uh, button up here if you have it that shows uh, sort of a uh, landscape from the side or some such. If you click on that, we now get a nice little grid where we can see perspective a little better in this view. Um, and we can move around this simply by using the arrow keys, just like that using the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out like so or if you hold down the alt key on your keyboard you can rotate around and look like that or if we hold the alt key again and then hold down the middle mouse button we can uh, pan the camera like such so again zoom in and out with a scroll wheel Hold down the Alt key and the left mouse button, and we can rotate. Or Alt, uh, sorry, Alt on the keyboard and middle mouse button to pan. And lastly, the keyboard buttons to move back and forth and around, if that's uh, easier in some cases. Uh, just one quick thing: uh, this uh, piece up here, if you happen to accidentally click on any of the uh, little cones on the side. You might get thrown into a bit of a strange looking view. Don't worry about that for now. Just always go ahead and click on the center cube here. And it will drop you right back into the regular perspective view, which is, uh, which is where you will normally want to be. So that's mostly it for the, uh, the scene view. We'll go back into that for some other things a little later. Uh, to the right, we have the hierarchy. And this is where anything and everything that is in your current scene, the game you are creating, and what you can see at the moment, will be shown right there in the hierarchy and you can edit or selecting the objects from there as well uh, off to the right of that then is the project view and this is not only everything in your scene but everything uh, essentially anything and everything in your entire game that you can access or use basically the library of all the maybe effects and prefabs uh, folders and um, uh, source files and such this is all uh, usually kept right within the project folder here. Uh, and lastly, the inspector, which we'll also go into a little more detail later, is where you will be uh, viewing and editing any of the properties for our objects uh, for display anything within Unity. 
And of course we have the camera view in which we cannot see anything yet because we have nothing in our scene. Uh, this is just where you will see uh, the game before it is played uh, and then when you click the play button up here or <coughs> excuse me, uh, when you click that play button there, uh, you'll be able to view your game as it is happening. So, uh, just to show off uh, a couple more things with the, U, uh, with the UI, we'll go ahead and create an object actually. Show how this is done here. So under the game object, create other, and maybe drop in just a simple cube. You'll see it appear right there. You'll also notice it's now showing up in your, uh, in your camera view. If it's not, you can go ahead and left click in the scene view on your camera like that. And now we can move any object around within Unity simply uh, by using these three buttons up here. The move, as it shows here, you see the little tooltip pop up there to show you what's being selected. The move, rotate, or scale buttons. If we are in the move mode, I can click any one of these arrows and move it back and forth. You'll see as my camera moves, the view of course changes down here. And simply by clicking on those arrows with the left mouse and dragging, you can change it. Uh, and then, of course, I can zoom in using the scroll wheel, select that cube. And if I want, maybe, again, either move that around, or if I click on the rotate button, I can click on those handles. Again, the same thing as with the move tool. Just clicking on these handles, left dragging, left click and dragging, I mean, to edit that or manipulate it. And then on the scale tool, it's again exactly the same. Clicking and moving in that direction, or I can click directly in the center and scale in all directions at once. Pretty simple. So now that we have that, uh, we can check out the inspector over here, which again is going to be used quite a bit uh, and holds all of the information for anything uh, that you're editing or, or manipulating in Unity. So we have in this case a box collider, a cube mesh, a transform, mesh renderer. Um, a couple components already on there and then if I choose the camera those change and this is because the inspector is always showing you only for what you have selected uh, because everything in Unity of course is going to have different properties and uh, abilities and such so in the case of the camera now I have uh, background, field of view, clip and plane, uh, lots of options I can edit in there um, and this is what you'll be using the inspector for just um, you know looking at the information uh, for any of these objects and changing it as needed or whatnot. Uh, so I think uh, one last thing that we can look at is lastly in this project view here this is like I was saying the library of items that you have uh, total for your scene so I can always right click go create and say maybe just create a folder call this test and look inside of that folder if I right click and go show and explore you can see exactly where that is and of course it's under our assets folder here and this is just uh, anything you store in this assets folder within your project file will show up right there in your project folder so I can even uh, just say go file uh, or new and drop in anything of my own call this test and Unity will go ahead and import it directly into the project right away. Uh, of course, also if you create something here, it will show up here as well. So that's just how you import things, either by dragging it right into there or putting it here, and how that will show up. Okay, so that's a quick and basic uh, overview of the UI in Unity. Um, I suppose the, the one last thing you will use in the future though is these uh, play, pause, and skip buttons. Once we get into some more advanced tutorials, uh, you'll be using these to, uh, just like they sound, play your game, pause it midway through, or skip to a new scene if you have one created. And uh, we'll definitely get into those once we have uh, some scripts working in uh, our actual game happening, so no need to worry about those just yet. Alright, so thanks for looking and we'll see you in the future more advanced tutorials.